So problem 6.1 reads, calculate the torque exerted to the square loop, as shown in the figure. Due to the circular loop, assume that R, this one, is much larger than A or B. Okay, so that means uh, the square loop and the circular loop are farther from each other as compared to their dimensions. Okay, so if the square loop is free to rotate, the question is what will its equilibrium orientation be? Now, as seen in the figure, let's say, let's consider first a circular loop. The current in the circular loop goes like this. Okay, so that means the resulting uh, the resulting magnetic moment M is this one, is this direction. Okay, so if we're going to set our coordinate axis as follows. Let's say this is your x, y, so this direction is y, and so that means this direction is z. Okay, so that means m1, which is the magnetic moment of this char of this circular loop, will now be m1 z hat. Okay. So, the, by definition, what is M? Anyone? By definition, M is equal to what? Anyone? What's the definition of M? Magnetic moment is equal to the what? Area times the area vector. Okay. So this is area times the area vector. Ah, uh, the uh, sorry. I times the area of your loop times z hat. Okay, so in this case, M1 will now be equal to area of your loop, which is pi A squared. Then times the current Okay. Okay. Now, on the other hand, the magnetic moment for the square loop, let's call that M2. Will now be equal to okay. Uh, let's move this. M2 is now equal to M2 y hat. Which is equal to B squared I y hat. 
Okay, so this direction is actually y hat. So we're looking for the, we will see if, what will be the equilibrium rotation B. So from this magnetic dipole moment, this will now exert a magnetic field or produce a magnetic field here. Okay. So that means because of the torque, the magnetic field, the torque will now be equal to cross product between the magnetic dipole moment of the square loop M2 cross the magnetic field created by this one. Now for R, for R greater than A and for R greater than B, the magnetic field is approximated as mu naught over 4 pi r cubed times v times m uh, m1 dot r hat r hat so you notice that this expression is very similar to your to the electric field produced by an electric dipole as discussed last term so this is m1 vector so we now have an expression for m1 and we know that r hat is y hat so that means it is now equal to mu naught over 4 pi r cubed times 3. M1 is pi is M1. Okay. Let's this, this use this expression first. Then let's the, then that substitute it later. So this is m1 z hat dotted with y hat r hat or y hat. Minus m1 z hat which is equal to what? which is equal to negative. Remember this is, what is this? Z dot Y hat is zero. So this is not equal to negative. U naught M1 over four pi R cubed the hat. So that means this magnetic field produced by your part, your circular loop, is actually directed upward. This is the magnetic field. So what happens is that this circular loop will now move in this direction. So this will cause a torque. Remember the direction of the, the turning of the circular of this square loop is given by this cross product. So the order of the cross product will suggest the direction of that turning. Okay, so in other words, this uh, uh, the magnetic moment will be uh, will turn uh, sorry sorry you should be downward sorry about that 
magnetic field should be downward. So the turning will be in the opposite direction. Okay? So to prove that, let's do the compute the torque. So the torque will now be equal to M2 y hat cross negative u naught m1 over 4 pi r cube z hat which gives us negative mu naught m1 m2 over 4 pi r cube exact Okay, so see we notice here that if the square loop is free to rotate, the equilibrium orientation will be in the downward direction. Okay, so that means the resulting turn becomes in this direction, where magnetic moment will become parallel to your magnetic Okay. Question. So the torque, therefore, substituting this and this here, we now have torque equals negative mu naught m1 is pi a squared m2 i times m2 is b squared i divided by 4 pi r cube x and finally the net torque will be equal to negative mu naught a b i squared remember that your pi will cancel divided by 4 r cube so this is the it's not the torque okay torque on the where okay so that's it In the final orientation sorry is downward or negative z direction in other words because of their because of the orientation of their magnetic uh, magnetic moment the magnetic moment of the square loop will tend to align itself along the direction of the magnetic field okay until such time that the cross product between m2 remember this is m2 and b becomes zero so that means that torque is zero remember deba when we have uh, when the newton's first law for rotation states that the net torque acting on the object is zero the object is in equilibrium so the goal is the goal is for the net torque to be equal to zero so that means the magnetic moment of your square loop and the magnetic field that is produced by the circular loop will be parallel or anti-parallel to each other.